It is August 31st. We are almost done with this month. And it's almost fall. It's so exciting. We have the pumpkin spice lattes in Starbucks. And it's like fall to go. I don't really like them. <laughs> I'm probably the minority, but I don't really care for them. Do you like them? I don't like any. Oh. Yeah. Well, I like I'm them in bad things. company today. <laughs> in my coffee. We do. Rather than the latte. But today I splurge because it's the we first one of this Wait a minute. Season. First splurge? Didn't you get a free drink? I today? did because I saved that point. <laughs> that was that my splurge. That was your splurge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to splurge today on my free I'm drink. I'm a deep Starbucks drinker though. Normally I get like drip coffee and then add a flavor and cream and like it's Tastes basically almost the same thing as a latte, but you know, it's like half the price. <laughs> These are a treat anymore because they are getting so expensive. Yeah. Like this one, I just saw her ringing it up. It was like six eighty eight for a pumpkin spice latte. Seven something. Woo! I'm glad I got it free. <laughs> yeah, where's my free one, Starbucks? I told you I had to buy one get one free. I bought one. <laughs> and I bought one free. I gotta pay for half of one. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hope you guys are doing it. We're gonna get a Riley one. We can't have one. I know. <laughs> He's being healthy and good. He has water. We should take notes from that. We should. We won't, but it we won't. Okay. Well, I've had like the worst. I woke up with a bad headache. Today. So, you know, caffeine, I feel like. So, oh, mm -hmm. and I just kind of had a rough morning anyway. Like, between the hands, forgetting the garbage, running out to the garbage hand. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, and the school line was a mess. Oh, nightmare. Just nightmare. I didn't even get a picture of Jackson this morning, but Bradley tells me it's okay every other year. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, I was committed to the line, so I couldn't turn around and go across the street and park and walk up, and there would have been a line anyway. So I'll just get it after school and be like, oh, look, birthday! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Actually, you get that, you get the aftermath of how the first day went. That's the right. The hairs all I know. Like. <laughs> <He'll be> like, <laughs> <laughs> he, knows, he knows one kid in this class. So. Okay. Good. Hopefully we'll somebody else in there, but never. It was exciting though. They, uh, mine were all ready for a full day of school today. Yesterday was just a half day, so. And Brett, you're happy your face is with us. Just scoot on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get over here. Okay, there we go. Um, well, it's weird though. Remember we used to start after Labor Day? And now we don't, yeah. yeah. So he goes two days, and then they're off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. See that doesn't even that doesn't That's even weird. make sense to me why you would even go. Like the boys they have a they had a half day yesterday, two full days, and then another half day. So at least there's like four consecutive days, whether they're half or not. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If it was just two days, days. Huh? what's the point? Four kids are not even gonna get back in the swing of everything. You know what's funny too is Tila starts later than Yakima. Mm -hmm. so I think it was because Yakima takes snow days all the time. That might be it. Like, it's like, oh, oh, there's snowflake, snow day. And then out there, it's like, oh, it's like a skating rink out there. We'll do a two hour delay and we'll still get the day in. It's okay. You can make it. The <laughs> article <laughs> cancel, but you don't get the day off. You can't go to the school, but they're like, everything's sent to your iPad, so you better do it. See, that's a good idea. <laughs> you still get your school in. Yes. And you have to make a phase at the end of summer. So I did get a picture of them yesterday. Ooh. I know you're you can show yours next week. That's Stephen Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what, is are, the, what does he have in his hand? On the other side. side. Okay, so his kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Snyder, which um, is super awesome. She's an amazing kindergarten teacher. Um, at the last day of kindergarten, he was sent home with this little thing, and it. it Talks about how hard he worked and all. Each mm -hmm. student got one, and it's a little bottle of magic fairy dust glitter. Mm -hmm. And so you sprinkle it on their head, 
the first day of their first grade year and they magically turn into a first grader. So we sprinkled the glitter on his head and turned so into a first grader. That, would he still be in kindergarten or in the first grade? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we tried all they tried on their shirts to see how much they've grown. Although I'm getting worried about Vincent's if you see. Um that's a men's large and uh starting to get small. We've got ten more years. <laughs> He'll be putting it on and it'll be like the little tiny like a little crop top. <laughs> it'll be like Mom, I can't get it on. And like it's okay, it looks just full of it. You should do that even if you can't fit it, still get it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might make it to eighth grade. I don't know. It's getting small already. And then they had their back to school social on Sunday, so they got to see some of their friends on Sunday. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So they're they're excited. Past couple days of them walking to school and they're all ready to go see their friends. Uh Steve's in class with his best friend, so that is perfect. Um and then Vincent has uh two girls that sit I think these are Daisy and Lucy. Well you don't oh. talk that girls are sitting at a table. It's okay. Okay. Sorry. You won't talk to the girls sat at your table with us. <laughs> Well, <laughs> if he gets little love notes in his backpack, you know, like Jackson did last year. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> there were love notes. I love you. And his like rainbows and little drawings, and they're all in his backpack. I'm like, oh good lord, how how many did she draw in one day? <laughs> I think that's all she did. Was yeah, it's hard to get boring sometimes. I know the teacher's like. Stop drawing love notes to Jackson and do your work. <laughs> Maybe she finished her. I don't, yeah, probably. <laughs> so being back to school, and you all know my love for dad jokes. Oh, uh, dad jokes are back to school person? Yes. Okay. Specifically for back to school. Okay. I feel like every time you read these, I should know this. Uh, you know, when you say it, you're like, I should have known that. Why don't you see giraffes in elementary school? Got long hair. Close. <laughs> because they're all in high school. <laughs> all right. See giraffes, Josie. Can you tell us where the Declaration of Independence was signed? Josie replied, yeah. Right at the bottom. <laughs> That would sound like something Vince would say. <laughs> What's the king of school supplies? Oh, see, we should know this. Yeah. I know, I know. We should. I, I can't think of it. The ruler. Oh, oh see? <laughs> see? I knew it. I was trying to go through school supplies in my head. I got your pencil in there. Yeah. <laughs>
oh, what's that thing, the, the triangle? You know, oh, well, that would be a good oh, yeah. guess. Yeah. 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 Bermuda triangle. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not it. Oh. Times square. <laughs> 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 well, the Bermuda triangle would be more fascinating. It probably would. But you might die when you go there. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, what? The Adams family didn't they go to the Bermuda Triangle on their honeymoon or something? Yeah. There's a new show about oh. Wednesday. I know. I saw that. I, I'm I interested to see it. I love the Adams family. I do too, but I don't know about this. Let's see. Are you an Adams family fan? I always watched like the old Adams family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I did not know that Wednesday had it. It's on what Netflix? Yeah, I think it's coming out on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. So being September tomorrow, gosh, I can't believe it's starting here. There's actually a holiday for you. Oh. I, I like holidays for you. Um, but just a couple announcements. Change oh, wait, we're not going to do the holiday. <laughs> Walking group will be um, in meeting at Franklin Park. This coming month in September, but don't show up there next Monday because we won't be there because it's Labor Day. So we're closed Saturday and Monday. So starting a new month, Labor Day is first weekend of September. Um, so please don't show up your Saturday and Monday because we won't be here. Yeah. Um, we also have ballroom dance lessons going on. They are going to be on Tuesday night with Aaron starting in September. So come on down there at 6 30. And you don't need a partner. No. So if you're like, you don't have a partner, just you can still come down and participate. And then we're still doing our school supply drive. That will actually still be going on all the way to the end of September. So if you have new, unused school supplies you'd like to donate to the Yakima School District, please drop them by the front office. Um, if you have any questions of what we are accepting, it's on our website. Or you can call us at 509-575-6166. And then the big event coming up in September is Bunko Night. So if you haven't signed up for it, please do so we can kind of get a head count of how many is going to be there. Um, you can call us 5756166 or you can stop by the front desk and sign up. The sign up sheet's right there when you walk in the So building. you can still come though if you don't sign up, but we, yeah. we, we'd rather you sign up. Just so we know how many tables to put out because yeah. I mean, if 20 extra people show up, that's, you know, five extra tables. we got to throw out there real fast. Um, so so just sign up if you're not sure, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the, the thing is, though, with the, the white elephant, bring an appetizer and bring a gift valued between $10 and $15 to participate. Um, and then everybody goes home with something. Mm -hmm. So it should be a fun night. Um, oh, wait, last thing, because I've heard people say, well, I don't know how to play, but they'll show you, right? Yeah. They'll so if you don't know, it's easy to play, and they'll show you how to play. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played Bunko? No, never. I have played it like one or two times, but I don't even know if I played it right when I did. Last thing we played was Pass the Sacred Home. I'm so <laughs> I, I was talking to my mom about what Santa Claus is bringing this year and that was one of the things I saw and I'm mm -hmm. like that looks like such a fun game. It's, you yeah, play it? fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It depends how they land on the planes, but like Jackson just loves rolling the plane. So see how they're gonna land. <laughs> <laughs> <He> just... Okay. <laughs> okay, my thought is who thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's sitting there like you know what would be a fun game? If we have these little rubber pegs and we swirl them, and then you get points on how they land. What do we think of that? But I mean, all the games out there you think about, like, there's some really random ones. Yeah, what's the burrito one? Like, Oh, yeah, oh, taco yeah. burrito, where you put, like, you know, a balled-up tissue in your taco, and yeah, your, uh, what is it, you, uh, yogurt from the garbage or something. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, I was thinking of burrito brawl. Uh, there's one you throw a burrito. Yeah, yeah. yeah. burrito yeah. toss or something. Mm -hmm. And then like there's a, I mean even like the little kid games. Look at the one like the elephant that blows the butterflies out of its nose. Like seriously, who thought of that one? Well, that's pretty cute. I think it's like <laughs> a little Dr. Seuss one. I mean it's like I'm just thinking who thinks they're gonna throw cakes around? Sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Who has that desire to throw a pig around? Maybe there was a really, you know, stressed out mom that was like, you know what, just throw the pig around, you know, see what happens. We'll make it happen. I don't care. At this point, I'm so stressed out and tired, just throw the pig around. <laughs> we need to, like, do the sound trains. I really, that would probably be a good thing. If, if you haven't noticed, Michelle always has, like, sounds that she does, and this is how she describes things, so you have to figure out what she's talking about through her sounds. So she needs what to about a game? a game where you're making sounds? That have to explain. Yeah, we should do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there might be something else out there. I don't know what that is. It's a good thing to be like on the same wavelength though as that person. So if you're playing it, play it with somebody you with know. <laughs> 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 okay, that does not sound like that. What are you doing? You're like, yes, it does. <laughs> Other people know what I'm talking about. Like I've never heard that. Sound in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I'm being a So since we're going to September, of course I have new September holidays. And I actually found fun things to do in September. Because oh, we're really? getting into fall and all the fun things that you can do. Well it's a little cooler too, so like not yet, but soon. It's going to be. Yeah, I looked at the weather. Um, after I got my coffee, just so I would know when fall was coming in. Apparently, it's the end of next week. We're getting down to 79, so that would be. Wonderful. I'm going to be like, it's going to be in the 70s, and I'm going to get out my boots and my leggings and my sweaters and just be like, I don't care. I, I fall for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm I can't do that yet. I mean, I get probably good if I drove here, but if walking here and all of that, that would not be fun. No, no. Maybe I'm not fun as I got here. Okay, so your holiday, though, that I found. Yeah, what is it? So in September, the third week of the month is National Indoor Plant Week. <gasps> you get a whole yes. week. A week. <laughs> you know what? This means I could receive a plant gift every day you for a week. So that'll be what? September third week, 19th through the 23rd. Well, you know what? My plants at home. The cat <clears throat> has disrupted my plant collecting and <laughs> decorating. I've had to change things, and like certain plants are very toxic for them. So my jungle has come to a halt. But you brought part of your jungle here. But it, it doesn't even like me here. I, you know, like it's trying to die. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with like, this building, but it's killing my plants. I'm just saying. See, I thought you were going to say the cat has been attacking the plant. Well. That's what my cat does. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to try, like, like uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the pothos, the viney one, mm -hmm. are, like, poisonous and ca can cause the, what, anaphylactic jump mm -hmm. in them. So I have them very, very high, and I trim them up, so I have them in hangers. So right now we can't get them, but he's, like, he's trying, but, you know, he's, like, three feet away so he can't reach them yet but I'm like one day he's going to be jumping on things and then he's going to be able to get them so and they don't like they can't have snake plants either mm -hmm. around, so aloe is not good for them either Carl ate our aloe vera plant and then threw it all over the floor that was fun <laughs> I love when your cat throws up all over. Oh yeah, especially like when it's you're sleeping, like cats or dogs. It's always so much fun when you're sleeping and you hear as you wake up. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it's always <laughs> at two to four a.m. And you're always like, oh my god, get up there, get up there, and then they don't even make it. You're like, dang it. Well, it's like the kids do, like, oh, I mean, yeah. the kids stick to, like, get in the bathroom, and it never fails. Probably, what, like, 80% of the time, it, they don't make it from the bathroom. Oh, no. Ben, just, although I have to say, Ben's is pretty good. Ben's been, like, he's, like, up, and he will run to that bathroom really fast. And most of the time, he has made it. Steve, I think he's just a hard sleeper, because he's just, like, he will throw up in his sleep. And it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> the bathroom is there from the pillow. And then he's still asleep, and, like, how do you do that? I don't know. I think I, I had noticed that smell. I mean, you <laughs> and then you have to like wake up and you should rinse all this off. <laughs> Can't you wait for him? That's the big thing. There are things to look forward to. <laughs> if you think they have 
have a cold or something, or they might possibly see if you just get the thing. Just get a bucket and put it nice. Like Steve right. would, anytime he has a nasal thing and it's like running down his throat, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, just put the trash can next to your bed. That's right. You just, yeah. It's better to be safe. But yeah, cat and dog, like dog speaking, just, they, they don't move. Yeah. At all. But well, then sure they feel better once it's out. Yeah, maybe and then they just go on their way. Like, maybe we can do some stuff and maybe throw up. Just saying. Great. Bella <laughs> was bad about that. Jerry was scared about that. Terrible yeah. about it. I do not miss having to clean up Jerry for a yeah. I miss Jerry terribly, but not that part. Yeah, those are things we can go without. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so it is chicken month. Oh, little baby. Oh, you know what? I went to Wilco over here. They still got little baby chicks over there. Oh. Do they keep them all here? What do they do? Okay, this is what I want to know. <clears throat> Number one, do they keep them all year? Because they're gonna get so big, you can't have them in the thing. What do they do with them when they get too big and they don't have them? Take. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> take Maybe they have eggs. Maybe they keep them for eggs. Maybe. Chicken wing. I don't know. My voice thinks that, that song is hilarious. So it's like chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chilling with my homies. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. So if you have grandkids, they probably heard it. <laughs> I'm gonna think we've heard that in our. And it's just a ridiculously silly song. But he thinks that song's hilarious. So we're talking about chicken wing. And <laughs> but you know, like when you get chicken wings at a restaurant, like you have the wing part, but then you have the yeah. You're like, does that come from a little teeny tiny chicken, or does it like part of the wing? Actually, it's part of the wing. It's called a drumette. So they break the wing, Aww. and so part of it's the end piece of the wing, and part's the the upper arm. So you're eating chicken guns. <laughs> That's what Matt and Team them is. Which the boy thought that was hilarious that we eat chicken guns. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's also self improvement month, so we can improve. You know, we, we need to talk about that right. around here. Okay, we have had a discussion about being nice and thoughtful. And we put a sign out. We put a sign out. And it worked for a little bit. It did be. And then now, now I'm just saying <clears throat> if you are unhappy, <laughs> if you are unhappy or you're upset at something, you know what? Yes, you can come up and talk to us. But please don't yell at us. No. There are things that are totally out of our control. For example, the cooling system right now. So it's not like we can control the room being 60 or 61. And we're not trying to keep it cold. Just to We have to be here <laughs> all day. Or when so, it's really, really hot, when it was out, like we were still here all day in like 80 degrees. Yeah. So it. So coming up and yelling at it, or being quite frankly very snotty about it, like it, it doesn't do anybody any good. We're doing our best, and if it is either too cold for you or too hot for you, then it may just be better to just go home until we can get this fixed and resolved. Because we are doing everything bring we can. Bring a jacket. Bring a jacket. Dress appropriately. Bring it where it's too hot, then you can take stuff off. If it's going to be too cold, yeah. bring a jacket. Or like I said, if it is just too much, maybe just not come in for a little bit until we get this resolved. Because it really, like, we are doing our best and to be disrespectful to us or to any of the staff who are working here, it doesn't do anybody any good. 
And with me, it, it, I'm saying we're distant with you. Stay tuned. So, stay tuned. It's best if you, as my mom and has always told me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, coming up and being unkind to us or getting very, um, saying mean things, it just doesn't do anybody any good. And, you know, somebody is on the receiving end of those words and, no, it doesn't feel so great to be talked to that way. So, no, I feel like just be mindful of talking to other people and your words and your actions. And, you know, if you can't, then maybe it's just not best to say anything at the moment and just cool down. So, I do have to say, though, our pinochle group, they, they're just like the sweetest group ever because mm -hmm. they came up and they're like, don't change it. We understand, like, yes, we bring a jacket, it. it's all good. Like, yep. we're just happy, we're playing and having fun here. That's right. I Like, I talked to Inez because there was an issue Saturday uh, with one of the groups, and Inez came in, and then I talked to her, and she also said the same thing. Just be thankful that we're not closed and we're able to play, and you can put on some layers. And there's and, a place you know, to go have fun. There is. And so, like I said, we're doing our best to fix it. Yes. So. And it takes time because there's like three time. companies I'm having to deal with to get it That's fixed. Right. So. Um, oh, other holidays coming up. It's Happy Cat Month. <laughs> <laughs> you just have one cat, or do you have more than one? I just have one. Oh. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> so he's sweet sometimes. Is he older, younger? He's like three years old. Okay, yeah. so is he kind of ornery though, like attacking oh, yeah. right? Okay, I don't feel so bad then because Duncan is the same way. You're I like, just have a weird cat. You're like, I just want to love you. Let me love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he's like, mm, yeah, no, no, no. And then I mean, like one minute he'll be like this morning, oh, burn, making biscuits, and like, oh, Duncan. Let him love you, and so you're petting him, and he's enjoying it. Then he attacks on him. Yep. Just out of nowhere, just grabs on, death kicks it, bites it, and then you're like, nope, get off the bed, I'm done. It's just out of nowhere. It is, oh, I'm like, where did that come from? Been the last three years. Okay. 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 I think I just have <laughs> a, I have a weird <laughs> cat. <laughs> Carl's yeah. like the chillest cat I think I've ever met, though. He really has like. He just lets you pick him up. I mean, Dolly picks him up and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, he just hangs out. No, no, no. I think he thinks he's an old English sheepdog, though. I really no. do, because he goes and curls up a bottle on the patio. Go sit with Benson and play with him. But, no. I mean, it, I, either his thought is this is better than the shelter, or he's okay. just an odd cat and thinks he's a dog. Yeah, no, my cat just tears the house up, like literally runs through, bounces off sideways with something, and jumps on the dog like this, and then takes off and just terrorizes stuff. Carl doesn't even, you know, like <laughs> scratch at stuff, though. I'm telling you, I think he thinks he's an old English sheepdog and just sleeps all the time. That's what Bob does. No, no. He's an odd cat. <laughs> no, I don't know mine. I have a six foot cat tree that wobbles because now he's like, he just jumps and runs up it so fast and jumps off. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So we're going to have to leave the bottom of that baby down. Oh, oh and I found a, a day for Lori because you know how last week she had talked about, uh, she had talked about being like the queen of hearts. And be like, oh, oh pull oh, your head, get oh, the oh, away. You know what Friday is? What? Beheading day. Oh. <laughs> is she gonna be? She's in England right now. Yeah. So she could be the queen of hearts. National Tofu Day? Yep, that's my. Hmm. I'm getting good at cooking tofu. You do have quite a few recipes that you do with tofu now. I do. And sometimes looking at it, you can't even right. chicken. Well, it's National Bacon Day too on Saturday. Oh, okay. I know. I I buy bacon for this day. Oh, it's gonna be a good month though. So September, I found 
16 things you could do in September. I, I Only mean, 16? <laughs> what? That is stuff, though. It really is. So, catch a football game, pick apples. A lot of apple stuff in here. There's a lot of apple craft, apple well, we're in play a good doh. Hmm? We're in a good city. Yeah, we are. And then you can collect the acorns. Franklin Park is always great for collecting acorns. Do you guys ever have What do you it? do with the acorns? We don't have kids, but like, we make stuff out of them. What do you make I don't know. We talk to them all together. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun for like an mm, afternoon. Caramel apples. Mm. Yes, yeah, so make caramel apples, apple pie play doh. Make an apple pie. Make some apple cider donuts. Those actually sound really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I love going on like sea rides or go to like sea I did not realize the liability was so high though. Because remember we thought about doing mm -hmm. like uh, a hayride for one of our mm -hmm. events for the city, and yeah, apparently there's a really big liability of kids mm -hmm. falling off or people falling off and getting rolled over by the hey. truck. Well, I don't. Well, it's like no, that's weird. I'm okay. 
Like I can watch sci-fi, but it has to be like I don't know. I'm traveling with sci-fi that's like Doctor Who. Not yeah, really like Doctor Who. I mean, there's some. Al- it depends how bad alien sci-fi. They probably can't like come out of the chest or like. No, no, <laughs> no, not my cup of tea. No, can't do it. No, because I'm going to dream about that. But the old movies, even though they're like the slasher things, it's so not real. Who don't want to watch it? <laughs> but you know it's not real. I don't know. I don't know. Things are too real though now with like the horror movies. I just don't like that. Like, Some of them are much. a little creepy. But... I don't need to see all that gore. Just make my little happy pumpkins and ghosts. <laughs> and we'll watch like Curious George Boop and Hocus Pocus and we'll be okay. <laughs> I still will be Focus Focus is a classic. Yeah, it is. And the second one's coming We're out. Yeah. So excited. Um, so, other than Apple stuff for the fun things to do, uh, watch a football game. The scary movie. There's, there's, you could watch a scary movie in September. So I'm thinking about going scary. ahead and decorating for Halloween early just because it makes me happy. Well, but I don't, kill it, so I don't I scary. Decorate. I have you. Well, we'll get the skeleton and the closet and the same with the and the tree. We'll do things with the money. One thing I hear it does say have a bonfire, but we're under a burn ban, so it's still too bad. They have a bonfire. <laughs> There's like a lot of little fires starting around there. And then the other one is have fun packing your kids' friendly lunches. Because it's back to school. Well, you don't have to pack that piece lunch every day, do you? It depends what's the lunch. I mean, that helps. Yeah. All the schools are doing free lunch this year. Well, that's nice. Okay. And then I think they're doing like um, free supplies too. Okay. Most of them. <laughs> There's no lunch. There's no supplies. They you just bring it all. No, they don't do hot lunch. Know. They stopped it during COVID and they haven't brought it back. So we just. Lunch every day. I've got a good little, you know, like factory line that we do at night. I'm like, put your crackers in there, put your apple in there, put your moon pie in there, put your juice in there. Okay, we'll make your sandwich in the morning. <laughs> um, so that's about all my announcements for today. Over the mid the mid autumn festival is coming up soon, so I'll be making you moon um moon cakes like I did last year. Bring your man over a full on Sunday and a holiday weekend. So oh it doesn't do us any good funny. because they won't bring them later on. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget, again, we're closed. Saturday and Monday. Yeah, so no Saturday breakfast because we are closed. And we're closed on Monday, too. So and we won't be here. Forget. Um. Oh, newsletter. Yes. Yeah. So if you need to um, renew your newsletter, you better do it pretty soon because I'm working on it. So if you want to have one mailed to you and you're expired, um, you have like a week or two to renew. Yep. Um, and you want to renew too because, you know, I mean, the next one is going to have the different two or so. Seems to be what everybody's after. So yeah. Seems like every time she drops the World travel book, they think it's the Pacific Northwest, yeah. and they are in here ready to go. Yeah. Um, that's not till end of December if you are a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, you got to wait till you get in. But the next newsletter will let you know when you can start signing up to make appointments in mm-hmm. January for her, and then, um, oh, and some presentation. Yes. Yeah. Because she's got lots of world travel next year. Mm-hmm. You want to have some fun places. And then um, if you're interested in going into the um, New York holiday trip that she has December 4th through 8th, that's on the Trips and Tours page on the YakimaParks.com website. And so just go to YakimaParks.com, Harmon Center, then HG Trips and Tours, and it has the flyer and the registration form on there if you're interested in going. It is this year. December 4th through 8th, going to New York. You get to see that the Rockettes. Be, that would be a fun one. The big Christmas tree. Have you been to New York? I have not, but my uh, wife went there. 
few years ago. It would really be fun it. during Christmas. Oh yeah, all the sh like shops are all uh -huh. I think if I was gonna go, that would be the And then all the Christmas movies, you know. Make it all like one so Yeah, you're yeah, right. I wonder, I wonder yeah. what it's really like. Because, yes, on all the movies, you're like, oh, it looks so great. Yeah. Everyone's so nice. Too. I know. When, I, I highly, highly doubt it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go ice skating. You know where the house is? We have ice skating right here. Oh, wait, I know that's where I said we live. But it is, not, it is not outside. You know, I wish we had one of those here because in Tacoma, they would put one up every Christmas. I mean, they actually keep it up all the way through February. Mm -hmm. Yeah, winter, um, yeah. And so it was outside, and you got to go ice skate. It was just a lot of fun. It is. So I uh, that's just one thing that I want to do is go ice skate outside. And I think it's like roller skating. It's something that you really don't forget how to do because mm -hmm. I had it roller skated forever and then I did it again and then you get back in the swing of it and I think I can do it again. Maybe a little. Oh yeah, I probably can't do that. <laughs> I will just skate around. But I really want to go to an outdoor skating rink where there's like Christmas. Come on, and... Yakima, let's get an outdoor <laughs> skating rink. <laughs> there has to be somewhere to do it. That or Tri Cities. At least close enough you could drive. Yes. And then the lake of Or Ellen, that would work. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> work on that. I know that there's the ice skating rink in um, Arcadia. Yeah. 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 Yeah.